secretary to turn over documents. Ohio GOP Congressman Brad Winstrup, one of the lawmakers leading the investigation. He's chairman of the House Select Subcommittee on the Pandemic. He joins me right now. First of all, good morning. Second of all, what exactly are you alleging? What kind of abuse are you targeting at this point? Well, it may be alleging to some degree, but it's also fact finding. You know, we're really in the process of an after action review from the pandemic and trying to figure out all types of things, what worked, what didn't work, how did we spend our money and was it worthwhile? So when it comes to funding and the funding that went to elementary and secondary schools, we're trying to figure out if the money spent were effective, necessary, helpful, and did they diminish harm to children? You know, we, children have been affected tremendously from this since no secret, academically, physically, emotionally. But how was the money spent? In 2020, it was $67 billion spent. And with the American Rescue Plan, there was $122 billion spent. And we're seeing that some of the money went towards programs such as implicit bias, bias training and gender issues. And so we've sent a letter to the Department of Education, to the Secretary Cordona, and we want all the documents and communications and policies that were used as guidelines for, for the spending of the funds. And I think that it's important that we do look back and see how we spent money and was it appropriate. You know, we've also invited Randy Gar Weingartner, that she's the president of the American Federation of Teachers. She's been invited to testify, and I believe she will. You know, in our first school closures hearing, we talked about kids being in school being essential, yet we saw liquor stores open. And did we prioritize students? You know, it, did we go from how to get kids in school to just no way for kids to be in school? Data was showing things different, that it was safe for kids to go back to school. The teachers wanted to go back after they were vaccinated. As a nation, we made that a priority, and the teachers were vaccinated. And then it, after that, they said, well, we want the kids to be vaccinated. And now we're in a situation where the World Health Organization says the kids should not be vaccinated. So we have a lot to look into here. But what, I want to just clarify for people listening at home, because I had conversations about this during uh, the height of the pandemic, where there was just so much of an influx of government funds for COVID relief. Is it believed by you and others who agree with your stance that there was money earmarked for COVID relief used in inventive ways because this was money that had to be used within a certain amount of time. And so somebody decided, oh, I'm gonna come up with something creative for how this funding is being used. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to find out. And, and not only that, if you think it was a good thing, then you better be able to stand by it and say, we spent this money on X, Y, and Z because it was very helpful for the academic progress of our children and their physical well-being. You know, we saw things happening, too, where schools would reopen, yet they wouldn't allow physical activity. They wouldn't allow sports. This made no sense based on what we knew as far as data. You know, we saw in Europe where schools remained open and and they did just fine. And it was also found in some places that the community rate of spread was much higher than in schools. So kids may have actually been safer in schools and same with teachers, because there's no doubt teachers were out going to the grocery store, et cetera. Well, Matter that's fact, the thing. It's like we were trying to tell kids they couldn't go to school, but it was OK to go to Costco with a ton of people standing in line getting your groceries. Congressman Brad Winstrup, thank you so much for being here. It looks like you are uh, asking for receipts. We appreciate your time. You got it. Thank you. Coming up, Easter.